So you're thinking about moving to Flagstaff, Arizona? Well, on this snowy day, my name is Tammy and my channel is Flagstaff, Arizona Living. And I like to show you around all the different neighborhoods in Flagstaff, different price ranges, what you can get for your money here. I will take you to local restaurants, the different events that happen in town, and Flagstaff's a great place to live. Don't forget to like and subscribe my page, tap the bell for notifications, and you'll be aware, alerted anytime that I have a new video out. You're not gonna wanna miss even one. All right, so now we are in the Elk Run townhome area. And this townhome over here is three bed, three bath, it's 1,500 square feet, and it's going for 475. It's definitely, it's kind of like a gated community, but there's no gate. Um, but nobody's gonna be driving back in here unless they live here. So it's tucked away. Uh, looks like there's a country club and a golf course nearby. They're just little townhomes slash condos. It's this one right here on the corner. Um, you're a little bit further away from the freeway over here. It looks like there's plenty of parking. I would imagine you still probably only get two spots. Um, this is what the parking lot looks like. And it looks like you get maybe one garage as well, which is kind of nice if you need some storage. And then, or you could pull a car inside and have one car in front of your garage. And then um, this is the way I come in and out. I've actually never been over here before. There's a lot of apartments nearby. You're pretty close to the Flagstaff Mall. And so this is called the east side of town and it's a great place. Okay, so this house behind me is three bed, two bath, 1600 square feet, and it's 585,000. It has a nice um, mature yard and we're still in the Elk Run area. All of these pine trees. The freeway is about a half a mile from here, so you can kind of hear the traffic noise a little bit. But it's kind of behind this little pine tree right here. Well, it's a giant pine tree. <laughs> Anyways, so it's like 32 degrees, a little bit of flurries. Nothing is sticking right now, unless it's like on a vehicle. It looks like there's a couple of flakes that are sticking to the snow over there. My son was hoping that there would be a snow day today, but there's not. Um, you have to have a lot more snow or it has to be much colder temperatures to where the roads get icy. So it's how we determine if there's a snow day. It's all based on can the buses get to the children and get the children to school. And if they can't, um, based on dirt roads or the rural areas, that's when they'll have like a two hour delay or they'll just have to cancel school. So. Um, you get a phone call at five o'clock in the morning to let you know if there's going to be school or not. All right, so this darling home is, it's really, um, the wind is blowing right in my face. $730,000. It is a four bed, three bath. It's 1,900 square feet. Um, we're right off of the area called Solier. So you're kind of almost near the country club area. The freeway is right past that, right by that big building. You can see the trucks driving by. So there is a little bit of freeway noise over here, um, but this house is super cute. I love the yard. It's adorable. So this is a little bit more of um, an established neighborhood. The homes are a little bit older, but then that just means that you have more yard space. You have more foliage that is mature and beautiful. So we are in winter now, folks. This is a blustery day. Looks like there's a nice backyard back here. Um, and this is what Flagstaff can be like. And this is our first snowstorm. And I was talking to some clients that are moving here from Michigan and they said, everyone's talking about this big storm. But then I looked on the weather app and there's only gonna be one inch. And I said, yeah, that's what Flagstaff is like. Sometimes you get an int, sometimes you get three feet, but we like to talk about it. Thank you so much for joining me on my tour of the Elk Run area. I hope you guys have a good idea of what you can get in this neighborhood. It's a more older established neighborhood. 
I don't know how to wear a beanie. I'm not sure if the bobble is supposed to hang down or if I'm supposed to roll it back. But you know what? I'm just proud of myself that I got out of bed on this cold, a little bit gray day. Typically in Flagstaff, after it snows, the sun comes out and all is right in the world again. When it's gray, I'm like, put me back in bed and bring me some hot chocolate, please. <laughs> Anyhow, um, thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys have a great day. And don't forget, if you're visiting Flagstaff in the winter, you're going to need a coat, a scarf, a hat, and maybe some gloves. Bye-bye.